What's up y'all? Clayton here with Fishing for Moose back with another episode. Uh, today I'm going to give you a three month update on the frag tank. Uh, things have changed quite a bit. Um, I'm going to kind of go through all that with you and it's not really a frag tank anymore. So uh, stay tuned and hope you guys enjoy it. Alrighty, y'all, as you can see, completely different than what it was when you guys last saw it. I had the frag racks in there. Uh, we were just focusing on kind of growing them out because we were going to do some selling of them this this uh, winter. But um, yeah, I got kind of sick of looking at it. I wanted to do more of a show style tank where I could still grow the corals out, that sort of thing. So if I want to frag them out later, I can. So that's kind of what we did here. Um, put... Uh, did a bunch of live rock scape in here. Um, couple, I think there's one or two pieces of dry rock in there, but pretty much all the rest of them are all, all live rock that's in here. Um, maybe I've had some coral since you guys last saw it, but kind of give you a re rundown on everything. So got uh, some mushrooms back here. Those ones are probably there when you guys last saw them. Created a uh, zoa rock here as well, or a zoa garden. Um, got the Duncan, got a Cordia down here, I uh, got a Favia up there, uh, I believe there's an Acan there, a this Acan here you guys last saw it was just a single head, now there's two heads there, uh, we got some encrusting Monies up there, and a Bubblegum Monopore there. As well as a chalice, pretty good size, probably four inches or so in diameter. Uh, I got a bunch of crabs in here, snails, got another zoa on there, um, got a mushroom rock there. So, still got the uh, pinstripe wrasse in here. Um, I do actually have all the other fish in a quarantine tank right here with copper prazapro. Um, did have a little bit of issue with some ick, so I got them in here. Probably leave them in there for a month or so, just to uh, make sure that they're all good. Uh, got a tang, a couple different kinds of clownfish. Uh, there's another one hiding somewhere. Don't quite see them, but uh, yeah. So that's kind of an update on the tank so far. Um, still have the same light set up, filter, everything like that. Uh, auto top off. Do also have a um, rainbow bubble tip anemone in here as well. Also, that is actually technically Olivia, same with a couple of those clownfish. Um, I'll kind of show you her tank as well. She just uh, started one uh, maybe about three weeks or so ago. Um, she's going to do an all GSP tank. It's a nano GSP tank with clownfish. So I'll show you that quick as well. So here's her tank. It's uh, I believe an eight gallon. This one also has a night crew light on it. It's pretty cool. It's, I would say it's very similar to the uh, um, AI Prime. One of the AI Primes. Got a bunch of different settings. Um, in the tank, got a bunch of live rock. There is some colonies of GSP. They haven't opened up yet. We just put those ones in there yesterday. Uh, there's also one in the back there. That one is starting to open up. That one was in, uh, in my tank. And I moved it over yesterday. So you can see it back there. But yeah, this one's going to be an all GSP and clownfish tank. Should be a pretty cool setup. It's just a all-in-one tank as well. So I'll give you updates on that as we go along. But uh, yeah, that is the three-month update on the 20-gallon long. And the first update on Olivia's 8-gallon. <laughs> 